Bloggers Pow. It's time for another underrated arcade. This time, it's Iron. Okay, so first off, we have Dragon Breed. So Dragon Breed was released on a, at a curious time where dragon shoots them up to in for all about 15 seconds. Uh, you had the likes of uh, Dragon Spirits and the other Dragony Wagony game from Namco. I can't remember the name of it, uh, but shortly after that you had this and a very similar game called Saint Dragon, which I've covered in the past, released at a very, very similar time. And with both of those games, you control a dragon which has a weak spot at the head, in this case it's the rider. The Saint Dragon is the head, and the back of the dragon acts as a shield, or at least in some cases, uh, maybe uses use it as a weapon. Uh, Dragon Breed's a little different because you've got periods where you can actually get off the dragon and control the rider. Like so! Look, that's good. But, it's criminally underused. You hardly ever get to do this. And there's no real uh, advantage to doing so. Hey ho! Anyway, so you just play it like a normal scrolling shooter as we are at the moment. You've got different weapons, you've got this sort of gold boomerang thing, you've got flamey fire breath, and you've got a um, homing missile attack. And I think there's another one, a green one, which um, has the dragon uh, sweet phlegm from underneath itself, which is strange. And of course you've got an R-type style beam up weapon so you hold the button down and it goes Woo! Like that. So that's all very nice. It's a game which um, I didn't play that much in your game. Didn't you really see it, don't you? That's a one cabinet? Maybe? Where St. Dragon was down my local. Most of my local. Well, the arcade I would frequent the most, or so I played. Dragon Reed. I think I saw once somewhere really random, like a sports complex or ice rink or something. I did, however, oh, there was a sucker at the time for any arcade conversions, so of course I bought something illegal when it came out. Strangely enough, from a big pop boot there, which. <laughs> the irony of my name comes into play here from a dodgy market store trader. It was an original copy, it wasn't a dodgy copy like you'd expect, um, but it still didn't work, so hence a uh, quick return, a few white lies to people at Boots. And I uh, got a working copy. It took a while, but yeah, yeah, it worked. Okay, so we are now into this rather disgusting first boss, and it is to be pulling all over the place. <coughs> That's all I get up for some damage. So, oh, Amiga version, you want to hear about that, don't you? No, you shall. It's well tough, we don't do anyway. The Amiga version was pretty good. It did have some pretty ropey collision protection. Uh, especially in this stage, actually, it finds itself um, a little wider guy, guy banging his head on things quite often and uh, dying, which made for uh, quite a frustrating play. But the first stage was very, very well done. Oh, look, here's the one with the. Green phlegm, look at that! Green phlegm! Such blue. Yes, I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. Shit. Oh, 
was I talking about before I started talking about dragon dropping and phlegm everywhere? I can't remember. Oh yeah, Steam Mega version. Yeah, so it was a, it was a, a decent enough version, it just wasn't quite up to uh, scratch. Well, the Saint Dragon conversion of the league was what seems to be called being absolutely excellent, so we wasn't quite up to that standard. Um, oh, you know, it'd come out in other formats, so um, Spectrum, Landstrad, Commodore 64, probably Atari ST, never lost very much attention, CST. Who does? And I don't think it's uh, it's not resurfaced since, as far as I'm aware. And uh, I can't remember some of these parts. It's a stupid. It's got, it looks like one of those comedy hands sticking out the front of it. Um, and it's just, it's just permanently in the way. Maybe it'll do like what our heart up bosses do in time out. Oh, I didn't like it. Oh, and Yeah, as I was saying before I hit the boss with the dodgy comedy hand, yeah, uh, it hasn't appeared on anything like a, a Saturn or PlayStation conversion. Um, oh, oh. Arcade Gears, uh, you know those conversions that you get, used to get on the Saturn, Image Fight, which ooh, we'll be looking at soon, um, came out on that, but uh, this didn't, and I'm dead again. Stage 2 is normally my limit here. So I say, you know, pop, pop a go on uh, main with it, see what you think. I don't think it's as good as Saint Dragon, it's not as good as our type as our type. It's not as good as our type, it's not as good as Irem's other shooters like our type, should I say. Right, next up we've got Image Fight. Because of course we do. I just mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. So, Image Fight is the uh it's the second Irem game I played. Um, you control the little spaceship here, the Daedalus. Uh, no, no, of course, shoot him up. Yay! Um, I've really got a soft spot for this. I think it's a really great game. I don't think it's a particularly great shoot em up. It does have its problems, but uh, I really do like it. It's one of those games which I used to play down boards so as arcades again. So, uh, ah, that's what counts, isn't it? I like it. So, why isn't it that good? Okay, objectively speaking, the weapon system has got some real problems. First off, you've got these orbs. Uh, they either collect orange ones, which are multi-directional, or blue ones, which fire straight forward. Problem being is when you collect three, they always have to be the same colour. Even if you collected two of a separate colour previously. Which is really annoying. Uh, and the second problem with the weapon system is the main weapons you can get from the front of the ship. And I shall show you the problem with those in a moment. Because I'm sure there's one coming up. I think there's one there. Let's get rid of this big guy. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's like a spread shot sort of thing. But the problem is, if I want to collect another weapon to replace that spread shot, I've got to actually lose it. So here's another weapon here. And I can't actually collect that now. Oh dear. So that's the problem with the weapon system. So that's what really, really detracts from it. Alright, now I'm going to try really hard to concentrate and destroy this boss. So, let's wait for the score thing to go past because it makes a lot of noise. So let's get rid of that little 
Right, this is what I mean. I can't collect any more of these unless I actually lose the one I've got. Obviously, putting my ship in mortal danger. Um, and I don't think I've picked the right weapon for this stage. <laughs> so, Homeward. What happened? Uh, no home computer ports. Um, FM Towns, maybe. Shark X6800, maybe. I can't remember. Uh, no Commodore Amiga 64 spec ports at all. And in fact, the best way to play this for a long time was on a PC Engine. And, and a really... There's a really good version of this on the PC Engine. Um, a few graphical... Um, it loses a few graphical bits and pieces, but otherwise it's a really good version. Um, and it stayed that way for a long time, uh, ignoring the absolutely dreadful uh, Famicom Stroke NES version, which I've tried playing. I want, wanted to like it, but it was so bad. Um, there's uh, Arcade Gears on the Saturn and PlayStation, which has Image Fight, and another game which we'll be covering very shortly, in a few minutes, on it. So, uh, that's the, uh, oh. that's your limit of, thing of ways you can play this at home. I am nearly, nearly very dead. I'm going to be different, I'm going to go for the green weapon, I don't usually get that one. This stage. Yeah, okay. How useful it will be. Actually, this might work out quite well. You see what I mean about the pod system there being, being a bit of a pain. I could really do with an orange pod right now, and I don't think I'm going to get one for another while. But this, uh, Green Hula Hoops of Death seem to be uh, working out quite nicely. We're working out quite nicely. So, yeah, there we go, Image Fight. That's a, that's a fun game. I'd recommend having a go on it. It is bloody hard, though. Right, next up, we have X Multiply. So, it's another shooter. Spoilers. <laughs> Now this is now, this is a shooter which hasn't really had a lot of um, coverage in the past. The only time I think this made it out of the arcades was uh, on the uh, Arcade Gears compilation that it shared with um, image files on the Saturn and PlayStation. Aside from that, it is really not being converted. I don't think there are even any uh, of those uh, expensive Japanese home computer versions. So we do have a very, very biologically horror-based shooter up here. I suppose in some ways the uh, power-up mechanic with the tentacly things wrapping around your ship who uh, misses. A bit like um, the flintlock in um, ZXX. ZZX, I don't know how to pronounce that game. That Konami game with the really pretty graphics. Now I really like this. Um, so I didn't see this down in the arcades at all. I'd read about it in, in magazines. But uh, I didn't actually play it until the, until, uh, the advent of emulation. Here we come to the first boss. Uh, oops. Right, let's get the power-ups again. Let's see if we can defeat the first boss without crashing into the scenery like an idiot.
Oh. Yes, deep breaths. This is going to be a real short trip at this rate, isn't it? Now, Image Fight only has one fire button, which shoots weapons. There's no clever secondary weapon or speed ups or smart bombs or anything like that. It is all about just shooting. The tentacles on the ship do act as shields to a degree, but they're not particularly effective. Right, on to the second stage. And something we see with a lot of iron shoot em ups is this whole battleship thing going on. Our type started it, there is one in Dragon Breed, not that I got that far, there's one in Image Fight. There's one in R Type 2, there's one in R Type Leo. It's, a, it's an iron staple, isn't it? And I'm dead again and it's game over! Oh my god! Right, last up we have. Armed Police Unit Gallop! Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the Mad Car was seen in, seen in Zone A. Rush to get it. Record to the next zone. And my code name is Ah. Right, so this is a game I'm not massively familiar with. I think I've played it a couple of times before. Um, I don't really know a great deal about it. You've got the normal pump firing weapon and then you've got this laser that goes down like that, which runs out but will gain its charge after a while. Now one thing you may well be thinking here, this looks a lot like a metal slug blade. Uh, and you'd be right with that because uh, from what I can gather, a lot of graphical artists which uh, work for Iron towards the end of its lifespan shit, just died um, went on to uh, work well, either work for or, or co-create Nazca which of course created Metal Slug now if you play uh, Gun Force 2 uh, main by Iron you'll see it's pretty much a prototype of Metal Slug and if you haven't played it and you are a Slug fan go and play that, it's excellent I might have to cover that in a future video. And I'm not doing very well with this, am I? Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to reach the first boss at this point. But, uh, let's see how we do. Now, one weird thing about this game, if you hang at the back of the screen, the uh, scrolling moves slowly. If you move forward, it moves faster. This is quite an unusual play mechanic. And it makes for uh, unusual gameplay. It makes it a little bit hard to actually um, dodge certain things. I imagine the speed at which you complete the level is why we put a little timer down the bottom. No, I'm not going to come anywhere near the time in this level. Not by a long shot. Oh, that's some armor there. Here comes the first boss. as much as we can, let it run out and then let it recharge. And then if I'm still alive we can use it again. And I'm not still alive. <laughs> so yeah, um, on police unit gallop. Um, yeah, it's a really good game. I'm going to put some more time into that, that's excellent. So what Iron Games did you enjoy? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.